G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we're delving into the world of micro worlds again, but this week we're going to do a floating micro world. Just going to show you quickly how I created this template here. And by the way, this template will be available to you absolutely free to download and use on the Buy Me A Coffee site. The link will be below. I'll just show you quickly how I created the template. So I started off with the Eclipse tool here and just drew out a, an eclipse and make it any size that you like. I'm up here to the fill and I just picked any color. I picked green just for the top of the color at the moment. And then on the eclipse here, I just duplicated it with a command J. Second eclipse, I just changed the color to red so we could see it. And on each of these eclipse, I've just rasterized them to turn them into pixel layers, each one of them. Just rasterize each one. And then on the bottom one, the red one here, I've just arrowed down about seven times and then duplicated that and then arrowed down a little bit more, duplicated it again, arrowed down a little bit more. And depending on how thick your want your edges how many times that you can duplicate it. And then I've just highlighted all of them. Come up here to layer and merge selected. So this has created my top and my bottom for my template. For my shadow underneath, I've just used a new pixel layer, clicked on my paintbrush, just picked a semi soft brush, the color black, setting the flow down to, let's go for 50% and fairly big brush. Made a dot underneath the world here and used my move tool to stretch that out. And that's just how I've created the template and the shadow. Okay, so let's go back to our template and as usual, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do with our template is bring over the picture of the stone bridge. So let's just simply copy that one with a command C. Come over to our template and command V. Let's double click on our background picture and we can just resize that picture of our bridge. Command zero to get back to normal size. And again, we're going to drop the opacity on this one so we can see through it. And we wanna resize our bridge into position. And we want it to cover the whole of the circle here. I'm gonna move mine up just so these little rocks here are just sticking out over the top and I've got some water there. So that looks pretty good. But on the top layer here, we're gonna come up to select and selection from layer. We're going to grab our selection brush tool here and make sure that the mode here is turned on that says add. Making sure we're clicking back on our stone bridge background. Let's make it bigger with our command plus the picture. And now let's add these little sections into our picture here. Just around here, so we've got a lighthouse. Just holding my option key down to get rid of this selection here. Gone over a little bit too much. Making my brush quite small just to get these details in. Okay, once you're happy, Command Zero. Now we can bring our opacity back up to 100% and we can add a mask to our background here. Down here on our masks, we can just click on that and add a mask. That's given us our micro world selected inside that circle. The next thing we can do is get rid of our marching ants. We can use Command D or Escape on our keyboard and it's looking pretty good. We can turn off the green top section now. We don't need that one. So, and we're gonna do a little trick with this next one to get our really nice edge around the bottom here. We're going to click on our red edge here that we created and go Command C. Then I come back to the picture of my stone bridge and Command V. Click on my move tool and I want the texture down here on this brick wall for my edge. So I'm just going to position this little red edge that we created down here on the bridge. And I'm going to click again, selection from layer. Make sure we're clicked on the background. We can simply now command C. We're just copying the selection of the bridge here back over to our template and command V. Grab our move tool. Now we can just move this texture in place. We can now turn off the red edge here. We can just turn that off and simply move our new edge in place. Let's have a look at that, looking pretty good. Let's bring this picture up a little bit bigger now. Come back to the picture of our stone bridge and our mask. 
got our mask here. We're going to grab our brush. We're going to be painting in white. We're going to change the flow down to about 15% and make our brush a little bit smaller with our right and left bracket keys. To move the picture up and make it a bit bigger again so we can see what we're doing. And I'm simply going to paint away this edge, making sure that we're on our mask painting in white. I'm going to paint away this edge on the bridge here. Make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm just going to leave a really small piece of that edge just right down the bottom here. While we're here, I'm just going to go around the edge here, make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to take away some of that as well so we can bring some of these rocks down here as well. Land is coming down the side. Pretty good. Around this side, I'll continue this little outcrop of bushes or trees here. Bring those down this side as well. If you make a mistake, just X on your keyboard, resize your brush, and you can paint that back in again. Okay, Command Zero, that is looking pretty good. We've got all these elements in place. Next thing that we'll do is bring in our night sky. So let's come over here to our night sky, Command C, back over to our template, and Command V. Again, we can double click over here to our Move tool and resize that. Position that right down the bottom here. So we've got it behind our lighthouse and behind our shadow. Position that in place. Pretty good about there. I'm happy with that. The next thing I'm going to do is make my planet, my moon. I'm going to make my own moon. So I'm going to come over to this picture of this texture here. I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to make sure I've got from center ticked up here. I'm going to position my arrow right in the center. I'm going to hold my shift key down and make that circle all the way out. We can move that a little bit. Make sure you get some of the texture on both sides. You can simply copy that now, Command C. Come over here to our template and Command V. Put that all the way on the top here. Double click again on this picture here, on this thumbnail here. Make sure we're on our Move tool and we can resize that as well. Command zero again. Let's position our moon up the top here. And I'm going to turn that round. I'm going to put it in the corner up here. To make it look a little bit more like a moon, I'm going to come up here to Filters, Stort, and Spherical up here. Click on that. I'm going to bring my little box up here. I'm going to turn up the intensity to about 80. If you have a look at the radius now, if you have a look inside that, you'll see that little sort of makes it look more like a moon, gives it more shape. So I'm just going to bring that out just till I get that shape on the corners there. Bring that intensity up maybe a little bit more. Let's take it all the way up to about 90. Okay, when you're happy, just click on Apply. Got our moon here now. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's put it in the corner here. On my moon, I'm just going to add a brightness and contrast. Clip that to my moon here and make it a lot darker and make it a lot less contrast there. And on that brightness contrast, I'm going to grab a brush already got a nice soft brush. I've got a good flow of 15%. I'm going to be painting in black. Make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm just going to make this side, underside, a little bit brighter. That looks pretty good. On top of my moon here, I'm going to add a new pixel layer. I'm going to change my color to white. I've still got my soft brush. I've still got my flow. I might turn my flow down to about 10%. might turn the opacity down to about 50 and change it to overlay. And I'm just going to brush in some sort of light or moon beams here. It's sort of very, very subtle. Just into the sky here. The other thing I'm going to do is come back to my bridge here. And I'm going to add a curves. Clip that curves just to my bridge. And let's make 
that a little bit darker, flatten the blacks a little bit and just make that little S curve. And also while I've got that, I'm going to keep my brush here. I'm going to make my flow about 30%. I'm going to paint in black this time. And I'm just painting straight onto that curves adjustment layer. I'm just going to make that lighthouse a little bit brighter. Maybe some light just here on the water. So one of the last things I'm going to do, right above this text layer here, add a new pixel layer. I'm going to grab my color picker, just pick this sort of bluey color in the water, activate that color. I'm going to change my flow to about 20 for this one and make my brush really quite big. Just finish off this picture, just putting a little bit of that blue in the background and there you go everybody that is my floating micro world in affinity photo we've created our own little planet as well if you have enjoyed the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when i upload my next video if you would like to support my channel head over to the buy me a coffee site you can support my channel there while you're there you can grab that template the absolutely free template so you can create your own micro world. Until next time, I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.